Thunder is sort of its own thing. It's a comedy, it's an action movie, it's, it is a little satiric. It's the ambush! Oh, I bet this feels pretty real! Exactly. Let's use it! Ah! When I first read the script, Tropic Thunder, I laughed really hard, a lot of times, and that's rare. Anybody got some bug spray? It's about a bunch of funny characters that all have to really get along and figure out how to get through this experience. Ha! The main star, Tug Speedman, that I play is an action guy who's sort of on the downhill side. and His career is in trouble. Who left the fridge open? Then there is Kirk Lazarus, played by Robert Downey Jr. He's the method actor who gets very intense. Ah! He had his skin actually darkened, and so he's in this character all the time. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. It's just really funny to see Robert Downey Jr., who's such a great actor, really inhabit this guy. You know, back before the war broke down, I was a saucier in San Antonio. He literally has gotten so into the role that he cannot get out of it, even when there's no indication or reason that they're even making a movie anymore. I don't believe you people. Huh. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh? Jack's playing the crazy, out of control comedy guy. Take a picture of this. The thing I love about Jack is just, he's just so unique. There's nobody else who has his persona, his comedic vibe. It's important that my costume be moist. My character Portnoy has made a career out of these fart movies where all the comedy comes from being really fat and farting a lot. In some countries, it's considered a compliment. All he's done is flex one muscle, the fart comedy muscle, and he wants to flex, you know, the deltoids, the drama, tearjerker movie muscles. And then there's Al Pacino. Al Pacino Hotline, what's up? What's up, baby? Not the real Al Pacino, but Al Pacino. He likes Scarface so much that he named his character Al Pacino. A-L-P-A. C-H-I-N-O, who's a, a hip-hop mogul, recording artist, entrepreneur. They had one good party here for a black man. They gave us a crocodile Dundee. That man's a national treasure. Jay Baruchel, as soon as he walked out of the room, everybody kind of turned to each other and went, well, yeah, let's go with him. I think there could be a Teen Choice Award in it for you. I'm sort of the wet behind the ears rookie actor. And the guy who's written the book that the movie's based on, Borley Tabak. Nick Nolte plays is a Vietnam vet. And he tells the director, if you really want to make this movie right, you should take those actors out into the jungle. See you in hell! You're not a matron. So bop! Throughout the movie, there's all kinds of like taboos being shaken up. Now we up in the big leagues. Kid not turn to bed. And, uh, That's the theme song for the Jeffersons. Just because the theme song don't make it not true. No holds barred on this one. It's pretty brave. Exciting, pretty spicy. I don't know what's gonna happen.